All right, so you wanna learn how to print your own money legally. What I'm talking about is actually being able to increase your income and what goes into your bank account legally. Now, obviously, if you were to go and get like the little like bar or whatever it is that they use to actually print real money, you'd probably go to jail for a really long time. So obviously in life, there's a lot of different loopholes and different ways to do things. And today, what I wanna do is I wanna share with you five ways that you can legally print your own money on demand when you actually want it. At the end of the day, all of us here, we wanna make more money. We want better vacations. We want more vacations. We want better cars, better houses, better education for our kids, better, healthier food. We wanna do all sorts of things which require and cost money. So if you're in a fixed income state, you work on a salary, or maybe you work in some type of sales position where you're mostly salary with a little bit of commission and you have that ceiling there, what I want to do is I want to be able to help you get to a new place in your life where you can actually print your own money and print your own money on demand. Now, before I share with you the five ways that you can print your own money legally, I wanna let you guys know that there was a time not so long ago, a couple years back, where I went from making $80,000 a year up to about 450,000. And what actually ended up happening, there was one day where I was just like, literally going to the printer, contract got, came out from like one of my deals and like I took it into the office manager for them to sign off on it. And they're like, dude, you are literally printing money. And it kind of took me a quick second because I was like, I'm not actually printing money. This is like a normal piece of paper, like with a contract on it. But then it kind of, you know, hit me where I was like, actually, I am printing money. You see, every single one of those contracts that came out of the printer that I brought to my boss while they were saying that I was printing money, every single one of those deals allowed me to make more money. I was making more income. And so every single contract that came out of the printer had money on it. I was literally printing money. And so what I wanna do is I wanna share with you some things that I actually did that are duplicatable and actionable in your own application of work. And I wanna share with you five ways that you can print money legally. The first step to printing money legally is to get a sales job. I know that there's a couple of other places out there where you can kind of like on demand, like make something happen, but usually that is selling stuff. You have to increase your revenue. You have to increase your customer base or charge more money for your customer base. There's a couple of different ways to do it, but usually making more money, making more revenue, making more income you're gonna have to be closer to the money. You're gonna have to be in some type of sales role, whether you're selling music, or you're selling a movie, or you're selling a computer, or you're selling a smartphone, or you're selling headphones, or you're selling calculators. Maybe you're selling really expensive, like, pens. Either way, you're gonna have to be in some capacity to actually sell a product or a service to somebody else. Now, obviously, as a salesperson, you're gonna want to be able to learn how to have some skills, how to overcome some objections, so on and so forth. That's not what this video is about. The very first step to printing money is to get close to the money. You wanna get close to the transaction, and by close, I mean you want to be the person that actually does the transaction. Now that you're closer to the money, you've got a sales job, and you're actually transacting business and you're getting money in or contracts in or purchase orders or invoices in for your product or service, the next thing you're going to want to do is continue to work your ass off. And by working your ass off, I mean like actually really taking a real inventory of where you're spending your time and what things you're actually doing because you shouldn't really be doing much that doesn't actively contribute to you printing money. If you're watching TV, you're not printing money. If you're in your hot tub doing nothing, you're not printing money. If you're going on a walk in the park and you're not on your smartphone or doing something or talking to a customer, you're not printing money. Doing things that don't help you print money are things that you probably really shouldn't be doing. Of course, I do believe in having a little bit of balance. And yes, I do believe it's probably healthy to go on a walk. And yes, I do believe sitting in the bathtub or hot tub or whatever, or watching Netflix every now and then is a good thing to do with your time. However, do not do most of your time throughout the day, like the eight hours, the nine, the 10, the 11, 12 hours you spend every single day. Don't get it botched up with activities that aren't related to your goal of printing money. Just stop doing time wasting stuff. You have to work your ass off. Of course, there's different ways of working your ass off. Maybe you work at an inbound call center where literally you're just taking inbound phone calls all day. Maybe you're working in an inside call center where you're making outbound cold calls 
all day. Maybe you're going door to door. There's a bunch of different ways that you guys can do sales. What you're going to want to do is do as many different variations of those sales styles as possible. Here in my business, we have a sales team. Some of the opportunities that we get are inbound off of a Facebook ad or a LinkedIn ad or some type of organic comment or maybe somebody here on YouTube saying, hey man, this is interesting, I'm gonna click on that link. So of course, we have inbound opportunities, but that's not the only thing we rely on. See, we work hard and we actually go hunting as well. We're able to identify and figure out what other key companies, who the people are within those companies, the contact info for those companies, and we actually reach out and go hunting for our own prospects. In addition to taking inbound and making outbound opportunities, we also get on planes. We also travel. We will also go to your business. We will go door to door. We will get in your face because this is all different things that you can be doing rather than just relying on inbound phone calls or just relying on making outbound phone calls or you know LinkedIn messages or whatever. You have to really do it all. Now the whole importance of actually working your ass off isn't actually just to print money. It's so that you can fill up a pipeline. And for those of you that don't know what a pipeline is, it's basically the different stages in your sales process of getting somebody from hello to thank you so much for your business. Now, if you only have a couple of people in your pipeline, you're not gonna be able to close as many deals as you want to. In fact, the only deals you can close are the ones that are in your pipeline. So wouldn't it make more sense to have more deals in your pipeline, truth is, the pipeline and the idea of having a full ass pipeline is so that you can close more deals on accident than you do on purpose. You'll know that you have a full pipeline and you'll know that you're actually working hard when you start getting compensated for all the hard work that you've put in and usually that happens after you fill up your pipeline. The third step to legally printing your own money is a little bit of patience. You see, all of the activities and all the things that you do today could impact how you live and what you close tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. So literally here in my business, I know that we have a little bit of a longer sales cycle, no problem. So I know over the next two months as we close out 2019, I know that if we want to have an absolute banger of a January and February, I know that we have to put in a bunch of work here in November and December and start filling up tomorrow's pipeline. And so the thing that a lot of you guys miss is that you get a big deal or you get that big paycheck and you're like, man, I'm printing money. And then you don't actually replace that opportunity that just closed with new opportunities. And by the way, a lot of new opportunities. I know a lot of you out there like to work just one or two big deals or maybe just a bunch of small ones or whatever, but you really wanna actually have a good balance of all the big deals and all the little ones. The little ones are gonna pay your bills today and for tomorrow and next week, but the bigger deals, that might be the whale that feeds you for the next year. That might be the thing that actually changes your life. That might be the thing that allows you to start your own business or invest into something that continues to pay you while you're still working smaller deals. So you have to have attention on all the big clients and all the little ones and work your ass off. I think that's starting to become a pretty common theme in this video. The fourth thing that you're gonna wanna do to make sure that you're able to print money legally in sales is to track and monitor everything. They say that you can't manage what you don't measure. So if you're not measuring your outbound phone calls, talk time, text messages, emails, LinkedIn messages, Facebook messages, how much content you're actually putting out on places like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, LinkedIn, you're not gonna be able to actually manage the results that come from it. So what I would suggest is investing into tools and technology that you can leverage so that you can monitor, track your own performance metrics, your own effort that is responsible for creating the results that you actually want. Obviously, I make these videos to front load you guys with a bunch of value so that you guys can enjoy a better life in sales. If you are actually looking for a tool that you can use and leverage in sales, Look no further than sales domination system, guys. We help track, report everything. We have phone calls, text messages, emails, literally about 72 different products wrapped into one thing that you can use right now to grow your business and drive more sales. So if you're interested in that, go ahead to the description, click the link, and I'll be happy to talk to you about what we can do for you. After you've invested in a tool or a piece of technology for yourself or your team so that you can automate more of your sales process and spend more time actually selling like sales domination system, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do to legally print money is to never stop printing money. Never let up, let your work ethic actually compound. Don't stop after six months of good selling. Don't stop after 
a good year. You have to keep on going because all of those efforts will start to compound over years and years and years. And at the end of five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 years, your sales pipeline is like so fat, you probably won't even have to work. Literally, all the deals that you close are just gonna just start pouring, like dropping from like the clouds like rain. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be miraculous. It's gonna be stupendous. It's gonna be fantastic. So within that big, huge sales pipeline that I keep on talking to, you're gonna to wanna to have attention on brand new prospects, adding new things to the pipeline. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in communication with your current clients so you can ask for referrals. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're actually talking with people that haven't done anything with you yet. That's a huge number of people. People that know your name, people that know your product, people that know your price, people know what it is that you do. Make sure you contact them because sooner or later, they're gonna be looking for your product and sooner or later, they're gonna do business with somebody and it might as well be you. So if you're interested in printing money legally, step one, get into sales. Step two, work your ass off. Step three, fill up a huge, huge pipeline that allows you to close more deals on accident than you do on purpose. Step four, invest into tools, technology, learning, things that can help automate your sales process, things that can allow you to spend more time doing the things that get you paid, as I referenced earlier in this video and step five is to never let off the gas continue pouring gas on the fire and let your work and let your success compound over time that's all the time i got i gotta go wrap up my month let's get it yep let me know when you're good you're good it's going oh love that all right y'all so this is a uh pretty progressive sales technique got a guy over here his name is is greg cover up his number there. And uh, Greg here has been kind of ghosting me for the last three days. Three days, really. He 